Hello and Shalom. This week we're learning about Parshas Ekev. In Parshas Ekev we have the mitzvah of Birkat Hamazon, of benching after we eat a bread meal. The Pasuk tells us, V'yachalta v'savata uveirachta s'ashem alokecha, you should eat, you should be satisfied, uveirachta s'ashem alokecha, you should bless Hashem your God. If the Pasuk ended right there, it would have made a lot of sense. You eat, you're full, you've enjoyed the bounty of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and you make a bracha, you say a bracha to Hashem. But the Pasuk, in fact, doesn't end there. The Pasuk tells us, V'yachalta v'savata uveirachta s'ashem alokecha al ha'oretz ha'tova asher nasan loch. You should make a bracha to Hashem on a very interesting words. Al ha'oretz ha'tova asher nasan loch. You should make the bracha to Hashem on the good land that He gave you. I'm making a bracha after I was satisfied from a meal. Why am I blessing Hashem about the land, about Eretz Yisrael? What's the role and the connection between Eretz Yisrael and, and eating food and having a good meal? It sounds a little strange. In fact, if you look at the two Targumim on the Pasuk, the Targum Yonas and the Targum Unkelis, they have a little debate. According to one of the Targumim, it's Uberachtos Hashem Alakecha Ala Oretz HaTov Eshar Nosan Allah. That means you're making a bracha to Hashem for the food that grows from the good land that Hashem gave you. The other Targum explains to us that no, it means that you're actually, the mitzvah of Birkat HaMazon is to bless Hashem for the bounty of, for Eretz Yisrael itself. And that of course, once again, begs the question, if I'm sitting and making a bracha to thank Hashem for being full and satiated from a great meal that I just enjoyed and partaked of, why do I have to bless Hashem for the gift of Eretz Yisrael? What's the role there? And the answer is, as Mepharshim explained, a very, very simple thing. All physical bounty, all bracha that comes into this world is brought from Shemayim directly to Eretz Yisrael. And from Eretz Yisrael, the Meshachach explains, or Meir Simcha and Dvinsk, that the bracha is spread out throughout all the other nations of the world, throughout all of the other places in this world. But all bracha and all Everything good comes from Eretz Yisrael and then is spread to everywhere else. And when we sit down and make the bracha to Hashem on Birka Samaz and we recognize no matter where I am in this world, no matter what I'm eating, no matter what I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying a bracha that came to us from and through Eretz Yisrael. An unbelievable thought that's there. Of course, it's no wonder why the mission tells us at the end of Sota that from the time of the Churban Habayit and on, we just finished commemorating the days of Avilut of Tisha B'av. But Nutal Tamim and Aperos, even the very taste of food has changed in the world because all bracha, everything we have in the world of Gashmiut and Chumariyut in this world it comes from Eretz Yisrael and is connected to Eretz Yisrael. Yehi Ratzon, we should all recognize how important Eretz Yisrael is to every moment of our lives. Kol Tuv Shabbat Shalom.